what programming language should you use? What library should you use? Should you use this service or that service? You often hear just influencers in general on tech or people on Twitter just having super strong opinions over what language you should use, what libraries you should use, what makes a successful dev. And I'm going to kind of take the contrarian opinion here. I'm going to kind of go in an opposite direction, which is I don't think those things have a huge impact other on getting hired. And even then, I'm not even sure they have that big of an impact as long as you have a base knowledge of things. And so let me kind of explain this is that for me, the most important attribute I see in a dev is curiosity. And you know, like that curiosity that's mixed with passion, you know, where you get excited, you just get excited to see new things. When you see something novel, it sparks that kind of same reason why you got into programming in the first place, like you actually genuinely are interested in the thing you're doing. And so when I see somebody that only just does only whatever the hip thing is to do, because that's the thing you do, because that's how you get hired. That's how you make applications. No, you can make applications in any way you would like. And that's like the coolest part about our job. That's the coolest part about software engineering is that there is not an actual defined perfect way. There are many, many different paths and it's about you learning. It's about your experience. It's about you becoming a better dev. And so if you just choose the things that other people do, like right now, I'm just absolutely loving writing OCaml. Okay. Super strange, right? OCaml, HTMX, Terso, and Tailwind. Okay. The hot stack. It's hot. It's, it's like hotter than Hansel right now. And guess what? I like it. Do you have to like it? No. Do you need to learn OCaml? No, you don't need to learn OCaml. I'm learning it because I want a new experience. Something I've never seen or done in dev is functional programming. And my mind just doesn't work that way. I've always been procedural, uh, declarative, OOP. You can call yourself functional in JavaScript. You're not doing functional programming, okay? It's not, it's not. It's just procedural with a bunch of parentheses. And so I wanted to see something different, something that's vastly new to me and learning OCaml was that thing that just sparks me and makes me more excited. When I'm at my day job, I go faster, harder. I program better because you know what? I want more time to be able to program the things that I find exciting. And so I better do a really good job in the things I need to get done. And so for me, it's very like, it just, it, it changes and motivates my whole life to build things that I want to build in the way I want to build it. And at the end of the day, I gain new skills. Like I become a better developer. I am changing my perspective on how programs should be written overall. Yeah, so should you use library X? Should you program in Y? Choose the thing that's going to make you the most excited. And ultimately, at the end of the day, employers want something. So you're probably going to have to learn like React. Uh, be pretty good at JavaScript. Uh, I would understand a little bit of Go and Java. Just have a little bit of experience in them so you can kind of talk about it in the most vague sense. And guess what? You're pretty much guaranteed to get a job. Toss a little bit of C Sharp in there and boom. You really have like the ultimate forfecta of knowing exactly what's going on and you'll do good in any interview. Plus you get to program the things you want to program, build the things you want to build, rewrite the libraries you want to rewrite. Hell, if that's a wheel and you want to invent it, invent the damn wheel. Just make sure you're having a good time, you're excited about it and it's gonna propel you to learn and become a better dev. The name is I have to manually hit the stop button, you know, cause this is just a full single take, a gen.